Know your customer. It's not just a compliance issue. For pension providers, it's about understanding savers' lives, sometimes even better than they understand themselves. Danica Pension has found an ingenious path to these insights. Joining me is Executive VP John Glottrup. John, you're working with a team of anthropologists to gain insight into the lives of your consumers. So tell me about that collaboration and what insights it's brought you. Yeah, we work with a company called Red Associates. Very, very insightful, very skilled, uh, work with some of the best brands in the world. And what they do is they leverage uh, really techniques such as uh, ethnography and anthropology, which is about more in-depth studies of what really goes on when consumers make decisions. So, I mean, we can ask a consumer what's most important for you when you pick out an insurance uh, policy. And people will give us the, uh, the standard answers. It is uh, the cost, the expected return I can have for this, the service and that people are friendly and all of that. And not to say that these factors are not important, but when we pose the second line of question then, so what did you pay in cost last year? What was your return? And when was the last time you actually used our service? People will go blank and they will have no answer. If you don't understand and you don't remember, these things simply cannot be the reason for why you decide to go in, in one or another direction. What the anthropologists came back to us and said was actually what makes sense is to understand what goes on in people's lives. So how have you changed based on the understanding you've gained from these insights? So what we're doing now is basically concentrating our efforts, not to say that segments are not important, but we are more focusing on life events. What is it that happens in the life of our consumers? Because that is where we need to be there at the right points in time with the, uh, the right services and the right products. Let me give you just one example. Around the age of 55, something starts to happen. We see it very, very clearly in our data. Activity picks up. Uh, people engage with us. They ask questions. They will ask for quotations on changes to their, their policies or their, 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 their services. And we also see a lot of churn. We had the anthropologists taking a closer look. And what they came back and said to us was basically that 55 is just a symptom of something else going on. Because on average, around 55, you become uh, independent from your kids, so to speak. Kids leave the house or they, they graduate from college. So you've got plenty of time and potentially some more financial legroom. And you start wondering, so how am I doing with my pension? Have I been saving enough? Should I be saving more? What's gonna happen for the next, uh, next years of my life? And that's the very narrow financial view. But uh, the anthropologists uncovered that, you know, a lot more is going on because people start thinking about, should I buy a new house? Should I go back to college? Should I buy this flat in the, in the Southern Europe to, uh, to enjoy life a bit more? And uh, once you understand that, it becomes, it becomes a lot easier to, to actually craft a, uh, a concept, a service model and an advisory event that, that, that caters for what really goes on in the, in the mind of the consumer. So how does it change the conversations that you have? As opposed to having a very product-centric conversation around the right insurance coverage, the right amount of savings and the right uh, life insurance, then it became more a conversation around how am I doing with my finances in general. So do I have the financial uh, situation that I, that I want to be in? How would that look 10 years or 15 years out? Should I be saving more or should I be saving less and spending more? So we've done this digital pension check and we've done a completely new consumer interface. What it is is a traffic light, red, yellow or green. Very simple. How are you doing? Are you OK against what would be our professional recommendation? And if we put that tool in front of the consumers, what we'll, we'll uncover is that more than half of consumers will receive at least one red light, at least one which just tells us we haven't done the job. We have by no means uh, met the target of actually making our consumers financially confident and securing that you know, they, can, uh, they can use the pension for what it, it should be used for. So it becomes a broader conversation, which is not just about pension, which is also about other sums of money, which is about all your financial assets and your entire uh, life situation. I hate the word holistic, but in the absence of something better, then, then that is actually the word. It becomes more of a package. The insights you're getting really seem to have applications across the board for people's entire financial lives. So you're a subsidiary of Danske Bank. Is this insight informing their whole service? Absolutely. And, I, and when I say I, I hate the word holistic, it is just because it is, it is a somewhat uh, overused phrase. Yeah, I don't think that many financial institutions can claim that you know, we've, we've actually been able to deliver that that kind of service. But what we are doing in collaboration with the Danske Bank is actually uh, enriching the picture. So moving from a product-centric lens, it is all about pension, to a broader perspective on your, your entire financial situation. Now we have a, a, a vision in the, uh, in the group of actually uh, what we want to provide is financial confidence. In order to do that, we have to be trusted. 
And trust is something that you earn. So we need to enlighten and, uh, and inform and help our consumers in managing their financial situations, not just on a pension, but on the entire financial uh, situation. Uh, and that's the only way we can build trust, that we do that in a, in a reliable and credible way. John, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. You can find out more about Danica Pensions at worldfinance.com and please subscribe for more stories from the pensions industry as well as the latest insights from World Finance.